Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to fix if your iPhone is giving you the message, cannot verify server identity. So here's a, an image of what you might be getting, the you know, error message, cannot verify server identity, the identity of, and it'll show you whatever email account it can verify, cannot be verified by mail. I'll walk you through three different steps that we can go through to make sure you get that working again. The very first thing is let's head out of here and go into Safari or Google Chrome and just let's type in a speed test and then run that speed test. You'll wanna make sure that you have a good and stable internet connection for that server to be able to check your mail and get you your mail on your iPhone. Now, if you have really bad internet connection, say anything under five or 10 megabytes per second, you might wanna swipe down from the top right and then toggle off that Wi-Fi um, option there and get out of Wi-Fi. Sometimes cellular data will be faster and you can use that to connect to your mail server. Now, if that doesn't work, another really common way that this can be an issue is let's get into our settings here and then head into general and into date and time. If your date and time are messed up or they're not the accurate date and time, that'll mess up the server and how it communicates with your iPhone and you won't necessarily be able to check your email. So make sure set automatically is toggled to on here and it shows the correct time, the correct time zone and everything and that should get things fixed um, on your iPhone and it should get your mail working. Now the third step, if both of those don't work, is let's go back out of here and let's scroll all the way down until we find mail here and then tap on accounts. And then I'm just gonna choose whichever email account you're having issues with. So whichever one you're having issues loading the email and connecting to the server and verifying that identity, you wanna click on it and you can just tap delete the account and then you'll want to delete that account fully from your iPhone and then re-add it to your iPhone. And this kind of resets all of the kind of configurations and the ports and the IMAP and all that stuff that are connecting your physical phone to your email and the server, wherever it is, Gmail or what, whatnot. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.